the News Channel 20 Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. Now, day four from Panther Creek Country Club in the Memorial Health Championship didn't quite bring the same low scores we saw throughout the week, but it did bring plenty of excitement and tension all the way until Max McGreevy buried a putt right here on 18 to not only win the tournament, but to punch his ticket back into the PGA Tour. We started with our eyes on Hank Lebiota and Stephen Fisk, the latter having an opportunity to take over first place on the points list for the Corn Ferry Tour and clinch his spot into the 2025 PGA Tour. He would have the best day of anyone in the top two groups, going four under par in the day, including this incredible chip-in from distance on the third hole. That put him at 23 under with a serious chance to win. We then looked to our leaders, Austin Greaser and Max McGreevy. The two were neck and neck the whole way. McGreevy had 12 pars on the day, but it was Greaser on the back nine providing some excitement. He had four bogeys, three birdies, and an eagle that put him one stroke behind McGreevy and tied with Fisk with two holes to play. McGreevy and he both bogeyed 17, which meant that McGreevy had to birdie the final hole to win. And he did with this difficult 13-foot putt to seal the deal. He hoisted the trophy and earned his way back onto the PGA Tour. After the win, he said that this win was nice, but that tour card is going to be even sweeter. Uh, my caddy Tyler and I's goal this seven-week stretch was was to get my tour card back. Um, you know, obviously a win would have been nice, but but playing these seven events and locking up the card is halfway through the season almost is is amazing. So I'm um, super excited. Hopefully, can just keep keep fighting. I'm pretty sure Steven's still ahead of me on the points list, so we've got to go, got to go battle him down now. He was in a battle the whole tournament, whether it was Gerard on the first two days or Greaser and Fisk on the final two. He had to set a course record low for a three-round total to end up getting the win, and oddly enough, it was a bogey on the first hole in his final round that might have made the difference. The making bogey on the first hole, I think, kind of settled me down a little bit. You know, I kind of thought I was going to go into this round playing the most perfect golf round of my life I've got to chip it out of a bunker on my after my first drive and it's like you know we just made a, a solid bogey nothing special and it just kind of eased the nerves I think and knew that there was going to be problem. He also got a FaceTime just before being honored and receiving the trophy. It was from his wife Olivia who played a major part in his return to the PGA Tour. She was here for sure. Um, we've always dreamed about having that situation where she can run out on the green or whatnot but uh you know, hopefully, hopefully I can see her tonight and we can, um, you know, have a big hug and, and whatnot and enjoy this week off. But uh, she's a big part of this comeback this year and um, my whole team ha has been, but her especially. It was, it was a long year last year and um, she believes in me more than anybody else. So I'm very rewarded to get this win. Now that's a wrap here at Panther Creek Country Club for the Memorial Health Championship. Congratulations again to Max McGreevy for not only the win in the tournament, but punching his ticket back into the PGA Tour. And for now, it'll do for sports. I'm Sammy St. Jean. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.